<laughs> Welcome back here to Up North at 4. Nicole from Oxbow Resort joins us now. And this is an interview I think Jeff and I are really excited about because we're talking about tick racing. Like the actual little bug. We race them. Why do we race ticks, That's right. What's Why? Why not? It's an <laughs> annual rite of spring passage in the Northwoods, right? It's the time to get out and about. You know you're going to have ticks on you. You know your it's dog's going to have ticks on you, mm -hmm. so you might as well do something with might them. Might as well have some fun yep. with them while you So can. I had 22 ticks on me last year. Okay. 22. My yep. dog had zero. They're all on me <laughs> last year. Um, are there certain ticks that race better than other ticks? Well, deer ticks only. Uh, I'm sorry, wood ticks only. Deer ticks need not apply. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, is, is there like a reason for this, or what's the why, why do we want wood ticks? Well, just wood ticks. That's just the way it's always been. Okay. There's less disease. There's uh, less okay. things okay. going on, yeah, and we they're want the healthy ones. Yeah, yeah they're I juicier whenever you smash them too. There were two. So, yes, because yes. you, you also brought along the, right. the gavel. Yeah. Right. So. so Explain the the gavel to okay. us here. Okay, so uh, the gavel. Well, we'll get into that. But the way that the wood tick mm -hmm. racing works is uh, each person enters a tick. Now, there's breeding stock. People have been training their ticks for weeks upon mm -hmm. weeks, you know. So I have questions about that, too, but I, I'll get to that later. <laughs> so you bring your tick. You register your tick mm -hmm. for uh, $1 with a unique name. And then you go into a head-to-head -head race. And okay. it's a bullseye target race board. It's about two feet in diameter mm -hmm. and so it's set up like a target. Two ticks go head to head. The one that gets to the outside line first lives to race another race. Uh, okay. And the one that doesn't gets smashed. Gets the, the gavel. Gets the gavel. Gets the, the gavel. business end of the gavel. That's oh, right. Oh, I have so many questions. <laughs> like well, that tick we saw was moving. Like yeah. it, was, it, it knows where to go. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, they're on, they're when, on the run. I don't know how to explain it, but they know what to do. When when you say people train ticks, what, <laughs> now was this a joke or do people actually train their their ticks? I've been told that people train okay. their ticks and they come from breeding stock. So take from that what you will. Maybe a grain of salt to go along with Maybe. that as well. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So is I gotta ask, is the entertainment the the tick race or is it like are there things going on around the tick race? Is there some drinking going on? Around oh, there's this? definitely drinking going on. <laughs> it's Wisconsin. It is. Like, yes. Is However, some cheese curds not too uh, far away. It is a family. Family-friendly events, though, yeah. you know, so it doesn't get too uh, too crazy, too lewd. Family-friendly events, some drinking going on. There is a gentleman going to be playing music, okay. and so you know, it's just a time to get out and have fun. Winter's over, summer mm -hmm. hasn't quite yet started, so it's a good buffer, okay. and it's a reason to get out and do. Can something. you encourage the ticks? Like, can you yell at them and say go? Absolutely. And do they listen? Absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes they do. It depends on how how good of a trainer you are. Okay. And yep. Is there like a little bit of a prize? Let's say I, I trained my tick well during the off season. Is there yep. a prize if my tick beats all the other ticks? If your tick beats all of the ticks, there is a, a cash prize, okay. a trophy, okay. and most of all, bragging rights. Wait, how old are these ticks? I mean, didn't the ticks just get hatched? I, I don't Do know ticks get works. hatched? Yeah. <laughs> is, there, is there like an age limit at all? There's no age limit. There's, There's no, no age. age restrictions on the ticks. Well, Not Jeff, at all. You're the one that has the dog <laughs> who the ticks don't like to attach to. So right. if we, we should, can we still register? Is this how this works still? Yes. So we mm -hmm. can still register. Okay. I say we grab a tick off your dog, Theo, jet up to Oxbow and mm -hmm. you know, put well, a ringer. We can still enter. Well, registration starts at 11 on mm -hmm. Saturday, and we will continue taking registrants until the first heat is over. Okay. Probably around 2, 3 p.m., depending on how many entrants there are. I feel are. like I've seen and heard it all now. Like, I've uh, tick yeah. races. A couple years ago, we had worm races on, oh, and yeah. those were well. <laughs> I, I just feel like this is uh, uncharted territory. Do you know how this got started or why this got started? Well, this is the 41st year based so it's, on... So this is not a new thing. No, it's not a new thing. <laughs> it's been going year? on for quite some time. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know, the uh, the history is kind of patchy. You know, it's got kind it. of hearsay, word of mouth, but right. you know, people are sitting around the bar and they're picking ticks off of each other like, and hey, they're wondering, well, what are we going to do with these? I'm sure there's no yeah, alcohol yeah. involved <laughs> with this idea whatsoever. I love this. This is very this uniquely is, Northwoods. I love, 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 love this. Yes. Yeah. So, Nicole, we appreciate you coming on and yes. talking about this. If people want more information or they want to come enjoy the tick races, uh, where can they find that info? Uh, they can find that info on our website, theoxbowresort.com, our Facebook page, Oxbow Resort. Uh, you can call the tavern or you can just stop by. We are about 16 miles west of Park Falls on the Flambeau River. Perfect. So cool. Nicole, so thank cool. you so much for making this. Thank you, gentlemen. Down. And of course, Jeff, we might be uh, putting a ringer in on Saturday. <laughs> this is too much. So. We'll be right back here on Up North at 4. <laughs>